Okay, the usual person last name. Sure. Detective Megan Aguilar, M E G H A N A G U I L A R, LAPD Media Relations. Sure. Today, excuse me, on Friday, shortly before 5 p.m., Hollywood area responded to a radio call of assault with a deadly weapon in the 5600 block of Fernwood Avenue. When the officers arrived, they met with the victim, who is the sister of the suspect tonight. She informed officers that she had arrived at the family home and she was confronted by her brother who was armed with a knife. He had threatened her and threatened her parents, who were currently at that time not at the residence. She left and called the police. Police responded and of course got the story from the sister. At that time they tried to make contact with the suspect who was still inside the residence, but he was not responsive. The sister tried to ask the brother to come out of the residence and he refused. At around 845, Hollywood area officers requested the assistance of our special weapons and tactics team and SWAT was requested to respond. While Hollywood area officers were waiting for SWAT's response, the suspect came to the front door and at that time there was an officer involved shooting. That happened at around 9.40 p.m. The suspect went back inside the residence. At that time, the officers didn't know if he was struck or not. SWAT continued their response and they assumed the tactical situation here. At that point, they also had their crisis negotiation team on hand and tried to establish communication with the suspect. Uh, eventually, the suspect uh, did not have any communication with them and SWAT used gas and the suspect came out. The suspect was not struck by gunfire and he has been arrested and transported to a hospital, or excuse me, he has been transported to a local police station. No officers were injured, and at this time, investigators are just beginning uh, to look at the scene and collect any evidence. So do we know if the suspect shot at the officers? There is no reports, uh, either by officers or witnesses, that the suspect shot at the officers. But the officers did observe a gun? We're not sure at this point. Um, there's different reports. The officers will come back out to the scene and they'll relay to investigators what they saw. Um, do we know the identity of the suspect or, or exactly? Mm -hmm. We will be releasing that identity later this morning once he is booked. And uh, potential charges? Potential charges uh, could be assault with a deadly weapon on a police officer, depending on what the officers tell the investigators the suspect was doing. Uh, also, again, we had the initial radio call of assault with a deadly weapon with a knife. So depending on what the detectives find out during these very thorough interviews, the charges could range. And uh, was the suspect struck at all by any uh, gunfire? He was checked by paramedics. He was not struck by any gunfire. On the evacuation? So evacuations did take place prior to SWAT's arrival, and that was just of the immediate surrounding dwellings, and those folks have been allowed to return to their homes. Uh, the streets we're talking about um, that may remain closed for your investigation? So St. Andrews and Fernwood uh, will remain closed. That 5600 block of Fernwood will probably be closed for another five to seven hours. Right, anything else? That's it right now.
Which center are you guys with? Battle. <laughs> 